top, which is very exciting to see. And you heard it in the interviewers with James as well. In, in this region, anybody can knock anybody off the top spots, yeah. off those top perches, and we're seeing yeah. it actually literally happen in front of our eyes at the moment with a team like how whoa what a circle uh, it's not the first time we get this circle but i will say this though as much as it's whoa what a circle and not too interesting looking in terms of a lot wow James, yeah I'm like that's that's been a while something's happened yeah <laughs> something somebody must have tingled with those circles <laughs> because it has been a while since <laughs> we've seen a hardship okay hashtag sarcasm these games have been brutal for edge teams all over the place and now the big migration to the southwest begins yes it does bill first trying to take out full tilt wherever they can there's battles across the hillside here as phil first finds escape over in the distance here and it will be Jeems actually going down over by Global Army. Well, or Global Army going down to Jeems, I should say. So everybody's kind of moving through this Picado mm. area, taking pot shots on one another. It get, kind of gives kind of light to the idea of saying, this area is very open. Unless you take those yeah. hills around Chumacera, it's not exactly the most amount of cover in this circle too. So it gets scary. And it couldn't be more solidified because there pretty much isn't enough space up north that it could go up there even with a double heart shift in that direction off of the next circle. So uh, because of land radio and the mountains doing what they do, it is pretty guaranteed that somewhere in between Picado and Chumacera, like down in that Dorito open field, that is where we're going to end this game. Yeah, probably. Probably. So everyone's trying to scramble for a little opportunity wherever they can. Exalt's taking a big wide split here, but question mark is still looking for the full clear on full tilt. There's escape here. Yeah. He's trying to do well, kind of what his yeah. name suggests, but Phil first, too good at it. That's question mark with four points on the board. They're still going to need a lot, though, if they want to rocket up the leaderboards. They should. It's time to lie down in this ditch and hope that nobody gets in grenade range because yeah, that would be rough. I was just going to say, as long as they're out of that, they should be all right. In the meantime, speaking of the nade range, here is Foot Esports. They need to deal with Ding Ding. Knows that they need to take the fight to Foot Fork. Esports as well. Vaughn has already fallen. More damage being done as T-Bone's forced down to reload. Oh, suppressed orc as well. It's beautiful. Oh, 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 yes, it is here. Foot absolutely decimate the numbers here down towards the south. That'll give them a little bit of a reprieve, but then their next opponent may end up being Ascend, who's doing very well for themselves. Thing is, they're still inside the circle, and a good hard shift going their way here. That is them getting to farm for another two and a half minutes straight. So uh, good that they get the fight over and done with as fast as they did. In the meantime, everyone else trying to send it forward. Adusi, get out of that car. You're about to blow up, my friend. Phil first will have to do the same thing eventually. And ah. trying to make the run for it too. Somehow, they're all still alive here. Spamming them shots out from this. How and didn't even actually properly get something from it as well. How now? Going to be putting in some shots against question mark down on this dip. I like that Howl's moved yes, up to this hillside. Yes. This hill, oftentimes in a lot of these circles, becomes very, very playable if you don't get if you're able to kind of clear one side, the west or the east, depending on which side you're playing on it. So you can again, it's kind of one of those only edge play locations that if you can control, it's very strong. Look at Sarvam, Nate Skill, all they all have them in hand, just waiting to lop them over. They know approximately where they have the position just on the other side of oh, the do not stand still in the middle of the open. You will fall. Now he does find a doozy and more knocks out to follow, but Sabim out in the middle of the open and Matt is going to punish them forward. Baron Peak <laughs> going to throw in the nade over. Phil first here is going down. That is them done here for a question mark. A bit of a disappointing game for them. Uh, starting things out with a few kills on the board. But anyway, Sabim now looking above Howl. I do feel like Sarvam's time is slowly going to be ticking down here due to the fact that Twisted Minds is north the ha and Howl is yeah. controlling an important ridgeline, as we specified earlier. Twisted Minds has to worry north as well. They're hearing the cars from Na'Vi, and right now, let's to look for a play to make in here. They've heard the action. They've seen the commotion. I would be surprised if they don't try to third party this fight right here. Time is ticking on Exalt. They make the move. Huge nade actually hits Twisted Minds here. Sarvam's still alive. That's a second great one coming in from Global Army. Yeah. Mortar shells raining down, which not the real mortar shell, which might be on later on. But anyway, we've got ourselves Twisted Minds here still under a lot of pressure. Can't even get the resins off because they'd have to run through fire to get them. Yeah. Exactly, having to isolate themselves at least for a little bit longer. They're not inside the circle yet, but they do They're have gone. a ridge. I say to work with, more like to crawl along, because there's not a whole lot of cover to utilize from where they have a current position. But Tulin's trying to apply pressure in return, but not going to happen in the meantime. Ascent falls. Foot Esports will be the ones to take them out, but you saw smashing the kill feed earlier, finding two. So BPL doing a lot of damage to the teams that will eventually try to breach their compound. Here's Voldemort as well. Big spray around the corner here with the barrel, looking for a little bit more here. 
here. They're all lining up for him at the moment, but a little grenade actually causes a bit of blindness in vision. Overall, it will be Howell finishing them off here from the south. We thought that it would be completely pinched for the most part. Howell was taking it slow, and they actually allowed more damage to happen to Twisted Minds. Mm -hmm. So this could have been a very strategical play to make that damage happen and then clean them up off the back of killing off Sarvam. Huge timing for Howell as well. Able to rack up points here, not losing a single player and seeing a send fall. That is exactly the way they would have wanted to start this day. In the meantime, now Wu and Face fighting inside the compound. A compound that in just a moment's time will be out in the blue. So get this fight over and done with. Peek into those Sornovs. Get the better of it or get the hell out of there. Underhand nades on towards Twisted Minds. They should be gone That's for this. Nade. Howell should be able to finish this off so easily considering the positional advantage that they have. Even Saw uh, on the right-hand side. Perfectix just peeking up over that hill there. So finish them off. And then they need to get moving pretty fast. I mean, I'd, actually, their options are very limited here considering like they're going to probably have to crash in towards BBL yeah. if they want to make something big happen. There is one or two ridge lines, but a lot of those ridge lines will be vulnerable from the south side. So it's going to be difficult for Howl on the east. Ruin is completely unstoppable right now, going from one team to another. Now they take out Twisted Minds as well. Howl, again, plenty of space to maneuver, but you've got to make your decisions soon because in five seconds, that circle yeah. is going to start closing. And they do have one car, maybe two. You can see them already trying to line them up now. Hopefully for them, Quiz is going to do some damage to face and they can make a car fort outside in the open. But for these sports in the meantime, do what you can before you have to make the move, which is now. I'm impressed that M-Force has stayed alive for as long as they have yeah. been here, but they're now taking the fight to DA. If they can actually swing on a around there, take them out. Maybe there's a spot for them on the north, especially north of the road uh, where it kind of slopes down a little bit. Uh, so, and they're still taking out DA even more. Yep, Hal trying to make a full speed southern wrap on this one. It's part of the road, I, I think. I like it. They're inside the circle. You have that deep dip down by the rocks as well. Yeah. Maybe they can stay inside. Maybe they can get the better of face. So kind of trying to overlap on their side of the circle. It's not a bad play whatsoever. I just feel like it inevitably leads to them not winning the game, though. I, but points. I, I get that it, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's salvage points compared to like yes. a game winning play considering the move. But anyway, let's look at other fights here at the moment. Digital Athletics has seven kills to their name. I remember the ones that are left alive. What a shot coming out from them here to try and get away from M Force. The Wu's eliminated on the other side of the circle thanks to FaZe being able to take them out. But overall, DA, I'm surprised they were able to get out of that scenario. Eight kills doing everything they can to stay alive here. Smash finds one nade, connects onto two, and that is Ooh. FaZe Clan wounded. James now trying to make a run for it, but there ain't a whole lot more for him to obtain by running out into the open. In the meantime, now Polish power, well, they've sat here since phase three, and only now are they starting to be Pressured up close and how this is where that position of theirs really comes in handy. Issue is the circle is still closing in and they need to keep on moving. But it's a, again, I feel like it's a play where you're just hoping to survive, yeah. not try and get the, the eventual win. Because with Foot having this position where they're, uh, two of their players previously moved from not necessarily that dip, but mm. just the hillside above it. Uh, and they know that they can easily pepper this location. This is eliminated by. Uh, the blue as well as BBL. Yeah, no reason for teams to try and go for anything else, especially knowing that it's two of the teams that are trying to not give points that would potentially be the ones claiming them. Second place now for them. Exactly. The exactly as they overlap. Rustin Ma knows approximately or exactly where oh. there is not a whole lot more for him to <laughs> do. He is going to fall seven kills for BBL. First team to lose a player in this match, but most likely the ones to come out victorious here despite it. Nork is almost almost burning out there from that molly. There's no way they can save Mars. Like, surely here, all you things considered. An explosion of the car, that's going to remove some of the cover, and Foot knows it. An absolute barrage down, a blitz here. And now this is where Howl is moving time. on that right-hand side to the dip that I thought that they were going to go to initially, but you can't because it was so vulnerable from the south. But you needed phase gone to be able to try and go for this. But BBL's been planning to deal with this dip for the past 15 minutes. I mean, they dealt with it against phase so well, and now Howl's going to have a hard time too. Smash knows exactly where to line up, and if it doesn't have one, say, guys, give me one. I've just got a double yeah. kill over there. I know how to throw it yeah. in order to get those kills. Now, there are loot. Boxes available for Howl to play around with if they so want to. And for Howl, again, I mean, from survival spot to survival spot, they sat there, they knew it was a bad position to be in, but they waited for these balls to take the fight to Polish power. That's when they made their move. Once again, we're seeing Howl play day one prime PUBG. Yes, they are. A lot of kills to boot here. Impressed by them. Again, though, if they can get out of this position, I'll be very, very impressed. Uh, I don't think this is going to be afforded to them because BBL knows that they want to hold them out. And they know who it is as well. They just got a knock. 
Hoffman was trained on their location. This allowed Foot to make an amazing transition. So all of these like three team dynamics are working against BBL because they just don't have the manpower right now. Great read of position for Foot Esports here, knowing that that's on this side of the stables, there's no peak point, there's no entry point for BBL. No way they're going to get here it. Comes Howl afterwards, full speed forward. They go all in one car, one falls down. That is the map, but they have made landfall. They have gotten to the other it's side. Enough. Three of them trying to now make their way inside, and BBL are the ones surrounded. Uh, at the same time, though, BBL is still holding this quite nicely. Rustin Ma is still alive, and he goes oh, for it. Woo! Rustin Ma blasts Howl out of this lobby, and now Foot is going to be the one to try and move on this. They know Enoch is already down here, and they will be moving yeah. through fast to try and clean this up, clear this out, and get this game. Shoot that door, get those mollies in there, get the nade and the issue is for esports, just like, I mean, how for the most part, we're fighting up close for a big part of this one. Utilities should be scarce if existing at all for foot esports. So they went aggressive, now realizing, you know what, we had a chance to pounce, we gotta wait this one out now. Going back, maybe regrouping a little bit, setting up for this final fight, because remember, it's phase eight, we're going outside the compound. And for BBL, they were kind of damned if they do and damned if they don't yes. in that previous scenario, because yes. now when you have to hold out Howl, you have to reinforce that position with how aggressive that crash was, you give up center point on this circle as well. So Foot can play the slow, BBL is now the one with urgency. Can't really fault BBL for taking the fight to Howl either. Oh, you got to. <laughs> I mean, if you want to win this tournament, you've got to yeah. take down the first place team and then try and deal with Foot Esports afterwards. BBL and Foot, their social media managers, has been at war oh, throughout yes. this tournament. This is going to be the fight for the Turkish pride, at least for the foreseeable future. Who comes out victorious? Foot Esports has the numbers, but BBL, well, See if they have what it takes to bring this one home. I was going to say a smash. If you'd have gone they around have that smash. corner with one shot in that, I would have been very mad for... Ooh. Reloaded, almost sees him through the window. That's the sawn off here. Vard keeps making it work almost every single game. Uh, as now, moving, relocating. Mate, Michael going to come from that corner. Oh. Michael, what a shot from him coming out with the org. Vard goes down. This is so close. 2v2 at the <gasps> moment. Misses with the shots on the shotgun. He's going to have to back off. That sawn off is very dangerous. Oh, but he gets him in the head. So many shotguns being put to use that it's org against org now. Smash on one side, solo player left alive versus T-Bone alone on the other. Spots one save oh. the button, the double barrel prevails as BBL comes out victorious and Smash brings it home. That was a, once Whoa. again, a little bit too close to call at the very <laughs> final moment. BBL though, yes, okay, they had this compound for such a long time, but the holds, the moves that are going on in these final moments, it's anything but easy for them, and then they get the win. Smash having the audacity to shoot twice with the dual barrel, fall back, not 